Okay, I went out for supplies today, folks, and just gonna give you a little window into how I'm trying to survive this quarantine and maintain somewhat of my restricted diet so that I keep my kidneys good, I keep my heart and my overall recovery in check here and don't end up getting sick. So what did I pick up? I picked up a lot of things and some essentials and some mental health essentials, you know, or just, you know, you gotta enjoy yourself a little bit. I have a sweet tooth, so I picked up a couple of treats and majority of these things I got with my EBT benefits that are remaining. And so let's start here. This is not all what I got today, but I had some of this here. I get these oysters, which are the only ones I can find are the crown prints that are based in dun, 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 olive oil. All the rest you're gonna see mostly are in cottonseed oil, which is terrible. And we're talking, just look up cottonseed oil and you'll know what I'm talking about, or other oils. So Trader Joe's, these are the cheapest there. They're about three bucks. And got, I'm not supposed to eat too many sardines, but I got some sardines, a couple packages of tuna, lots of garlic, because I'm gonna be really, really using garlic, which I always do. Couple avocados left over. I've had these cans of salmon for a long time. I hope they're still good. I'm sure they are. And another backup oysters. I had bought a bunch of tuna at, I don't do a lot of tuna, but I, I, I sprinkle it in. But right now it's a good food for me to have. I'm gonna try not to have too much because the mercury factor. I could only find this butter. I had to just pick a grocery store that didn't really have a great selection, which I know everybody's running into. So you're not gonna, I, I'm not near anywhere like a Trader Joe's or a type of organic grocery or something like that. So doing the best I can, the only butter I could really find that was okay, and I tried to get unsalted, but this is at least uh, made from milk, from cows, not treated with our BST, but I at least have a couple bars left of Kerrygold grass-fed butter another item i get usually at trader joe's flaxseed meal is something i mix into some of my salads or my cooking and so i sometimes i'm all you know fibroed out and fatigued and i need easy food so try not to waste money on it's not wasting but this is about as convenient food as i can get but when you buy rice in bigger packages even than this but i don't have the storage you're gonna save a lot as long as you're gonna cook it, you know, the regular way. This is convenience. And sometimes I need convenience because I'm just too tired to cook out here. I got asparagus, it was on super sale. And asparagus is one of those vegetables that is not necessary to get organic. So it's always wonderful to find it. And I'm gonna eat that today. I love asparagus. Lots of lemons, found a good value on the lemons. So I've got three full bags of lemons. Oh, you notice something here? Oh yes, from nostalgia's sake. In Ohio, when I was a young boy, getting off the bus or riding my bike, I would save the pennies in my pocket, find, find quarters and different things, and I would go to the Hills Pills local small town pharmacy candy store. Hills Pills, still remember it, and would get Cadbury eggs when they would come out and or some other candy, but this is from childhood and I figured, I did find regular eggs. I got some organic eggs, they're in the cooler. I couldn't find pasture raised, but that's all right. But I got a Cadbury cream egg, very important. Never know when it comes to need. Some apples, oranges. I don't eat a lot of fruit, but I've, my instincts been telling me to have a little bit right now. And I bought some of that. Got some easy uh, rice cakes, all gluten-free. Uh, snacks. I have one bone broth left over from a bunch I bought at Costco. It's a low sodium one. And I found some olive oil because I drink a little bit of olive oil every day. And I have to, that brand I trust. So I got that. And then this, this is going to really help me stay fattened up. So I got a bunch of cans of organic coconut milk, unsweetened that I'll add to my rice, I'll add to my coffee, I'll add to a bunch of things, I'll just add it if I'm having any even cereal. Pumpkin seeds, 
more I, and I, these are things I don't also normally get but right now while I'm out here sometimes I'm just gonna need to fill my belly now there you go this is the big tree I've done I love these things so I want to treat they're glutino gluten-free Oreo type things and yes I'm not perfect folks I told you I'm human and I do things even buying I had to stay at one grocery store so I got I never buy Starbucks coffee. I usually try to buy them all my coffee at Trader Joe's because it's affordable and you can get organic and in a bulk, but I can't make it there. So this is all. I found at least whole bean and it is going to be what it is. It's it's coffee. So, you know, I'm lucky. Uh, and that's, oh, in the coolers, I will show you. I bought two packages of grass-fed beef, uh, ground beef that was on sale and I bought a um, pound and a half of fresh beef liver from the deli that I'm gonna probably cook today. Some frozen shrimp and well, take let's a quick take a look. And look, I got all this fuel. Until I get a propane stove, which I need because it's cheaper for the fuel, I have to use these things. So I went to Big Five and bought a bunch. So this should hold me for a little bit. So here's the big cooler and this is the important one. Feel the flow, folks. Feel the flow. So, uh, sorry, I'm trying to hold the top open as I do this. I'm not doing great film work. Okay, I never buy non organic broccoli, but in these times, I had to. That's all they had. Everything was sold out. And got some rice, cauliflower, veggies. And then here's the beef liver on ice, the two packages of grass-fed ground beef, and oh, the, the other stuff is in here. Oh, and I bought a big thing of unsweetened uh, coconut milk to add more to my coffee. And I did find an MCT oil when, uh, somewhere. It's not ideal, but I figured this will help as well for keeping some calories in me, simply, especially if I'm ever in flare. All right, folks, there you have it. There's a little window into what I'm doing.